Hey everybody, I'm Carla. And I'm Todd. And we're the Runaway Roses. And on this episode, we're gonna put on some decals on the side of our camper that we just finally got in. Uh, we had them on order for a while. Um, as you may have seen in one of our past videos, that uh, we had ordered them and we were waiting for them and because uh, we had taken the decals off the side of the camper because they're faded and uh, worn and kind of dry rotted and that sort of thing. So on this episode, we're gonna put them on, so stay tuned. All right, so what we're gonna do here, uh, in order just to make our life a little bit easier to put these decals on, I'm gonna go ahead and take the vent cover off. Um, the rest of it's clean, um, it's good to go, but the sticker actually does come right down through here and actually kind of comes down right here. So I'm gonna take this off, we're gonna clean it up, and then we're gonna put the decals on and then put the cover back on. Yeah. And see all that sticky stuff is it's uh like that butyl tape or putty tape, one of the two that they use. Um so it's not just silicone, that's the regular R V butyl tape stuff. So I'm gonna have to go get a scraper and some stuff to clean that up and we'll be right back. Alright, so what we're gonna do first to try to clean this off. We're gonna, I'm going to use two different things. Uh, I'm going to use just a plastic scraper and then I have a razor blade. The razor blade is a standard razor blade handle. However, these are little plastic razor blades that keep from scratching fiberglass and anything that's delicate like that. So they're sharp but they're not going to catch and, and uh, ruin the surface. So. It's a neat little handy thing to have. But we're gonna start with this. It's soft, but it still leaves a good bit of residue on the surface. As you can see, I'm trying to push in towards the vent so that way I don't push it out onto the fiberglass and make it worse. Okay, I'm gonna try using this thing. If you use a regular razor blade here, you do run the risk of biting into that fiberglass and messing it up. As you can see, there's still some original decal on there. I'm going to use a, a really cool little tool called the Wonder Wheel to get the rest of this decal off. Okay. So as you can see, the rest of the sticker is here. So what I'm going to use to get that decal off is this thing, a vinyl decal remover. And it's this thing. This one's just brand new. I just uh, had it sitting around, so I figured I'd go ahead and use it. This is actually what I used to get almost the majority of all the decals off the trailer before we cleaned it up and, and polished it and that sort of thing. So this thing. It's not exactly easy. It'll, it'll work your arm out and that sort of thing, but it's the best thing out there that I found to get the decals off along with the adhesive that's on the back of the decal. And you're gonna hurt your wrist. You probably need to put your brace on. Yeah. And when you when you what you do is you when you put it on there and you hold it and you when it's spinning, you push against the rotation of the wheel. So that way, when you do that, it's it's pushing the decal and it lifts it up and off. So there you go, the decal's off. It's still messy, I still need to finish cleaning it. Uh, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and, and use this to go ahead and try to clean up, clean up some of this other mess that was on there as well so I just kind of keep working my way around it and get it cleaned up a little bit more. All 
Okay, so now that we got the surface clean around the vent hole, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wipe down the areas uh, that we're gonna put all the decals. We're gonna wipe it down with uh, denatured alcohol, get it cleaned up, uh, and then we'll apply the decals. I'm gonna use some denatured alcohol to wipe the camper down before we put the decals on. Okay, so neither Carla or I claim to be professionals at this, but we're just gonna wing it with what we know. We've kind of done some of this sort of thing before with some other decals on some vehicles and stuff, but and they've all turned out pretty good, but uh, that's why we decided to give it a shot. But uh, we're just gonna kind of do it the way we know to do it and uh, hope for the best. So here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the decal where we think it needs to be. And we're gonna basically kind of tape it in place. Go over some, the tip is like right there. Yeah. So we're gonna spray it with, we're gonna spray the camper with soapy water. And then we're gonna place the decal. What the soapy water does is it uh, keeps the decal from sticking immediately to the surface. It allows you to be able to move it around and adjust it a little bit in case uh, you don't have it exactly in the right spot. So. Um, so once you spray it down with the soapy water, put the sticker down on top of it, and you find your positioning, and then just squeegee it out. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Oops. It's alright. So, soak it down real good. Spray a little on. Uh-oh, it's coming in done. Okay. You do always want to squeegee from the center out. Okay. That looks pretty good. We're going to move on to the next one. One of the graphic little swoop things. Why don't we start with the top one? You want to start with the top one up yeah. there, the small one? Yeah. Okay. It's hard to see where that one was, though. Yeah, once you put the soap on it, it's. We could kind of see where our old stickers were. To basically put them in line, but once you put the soap on there, it gets a little more difficult. going to do on this so uh, as you can see we we've already done the two of them we've done the big foot and we've done the upper small one so we're going to move on to the lower uh, big swoop here on the bottom same process uh, more soapy water and more squeegee
have to pull this real sharp. Pull it kind of, pull the sticker kind of flat. And that way, when you pull the cover sharp, it usually helps. All right, so now we're going to move on to our, to our last big swoop here. It goes across the top and down across the fan vent. So we got one small decal that we're going to put right here. It's just of the character Bigfoot, so we're going to replace it and just do that real quickly. How's that look? Looks good. Okay, so the last step in this process, so after putting on all the stickers, I'm going to go ahead and put this vent cover back on. Um, while we had it down, I went ahead and painted it because it was kind of faded from the sun, so I went ahead and painted it so it'll look a little better. And uh, what I'm going to use to put this back on is the uh, butyl putty. Uh, this is what I'm using right here. Uh, it's made for all the different vents, whatever type of vent you got on your roof or on the, on the walls. Um, they have a butyl putty and a uh, butyl tape. But they are a little different. Uh, the putty obviously is more like a putty and the butyl tape is kind of uh, thick and uh, sticky. And uh, but. They both work, they both do the same job. I've used both. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of this tape out and I'm gonna line the back of the vent cover and uh, put a couple of screws in there to line it up to the holes and then seal it off. Just gonna lay that face down. Then I'm gonna take this putty I'm going to make it a little long to begin with. Use the scissors to cut it. You can, maybe you can kind of see there what it is. The top part will just come off. I'm just trying to line it up to get it fairly even without sticking too far past the, the top.
So now that we got the vent cover ready to go on with the butyl putty on there, I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the louvered vent flap back in, screw it back in. I'm gonna go ahead and put this hand cover back up. I'm gonna line these two screws with the bottom two holes here. So there we go, we got the fan cover painted back on. It's got the butyl putty sticking it back on as well as the screws. I'm just gonna come back with a hand screwdriver and tighten it up, snug it down. And, uh, and that's it for the fan cover. We got all the decals on. So that's it with this uh, for this project with the decals, the fan cover and, and everything. So turned out good, happy with it. All right, everybody. So we are done with our decals on the side of our trailer. Uh, as you can see, we did five of them. Uh, we actually do have a couple small ones that we may choose to put on later, uh, here or there. Uh, another word, Bigfoot, and another character as well. And but, we may put uh, our logo on the front of it too. So. Yeah, probably gonna put a big logo on the on the front, on the lift up uh, rock guard. So, but uh, anyhow, hope that helps somebody out there. If you decide that you want to put some stickers or decals on your trailer or on anything really. Um, you know, help you know, kind of show you the process, but uh, it worked for us. We're not professionals, but uh, hopefully, this will help. And we will see you next time on Runaway Roses. Bye bye. bye, -bye.